Me confronting you man to man is yeah. entirely different than what I'm going to say in front of the cameras. I will defend myself in front of anybody. Yeah. But in terms of me going on the attack, no, I'm very personal with shit like that. I will roll right up on you. <laughs> Same thing like, you said with Alan Alvesen. You have to go to Atlanta <laughs> exactly. to talk to Alan Alvesen. That was, that was wild, too. That was wild because, I mean, me, listen, I'm a reporter and I got a job to do. And and listen, I'm, and listen, we all from the streets. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times the people... I think it's about it's about getting your who, whose ass can you whip? No, it's not. It's about what you taking, what you willing to take an ass whipping for. Where do you stand on I your like principles? That one. Right. You I see like what I'm saying? That one. And so it's not it's not a matter of whether you can beat somebody, whether you fight somebody, or whatever. It's about the fact you ain't backing down when you know you're right. Yeah. And in the case of Allen Iverson, that was many years ago. Knowing the love that I have yeah, for this man, that's that my little brother. Hurt. He was hurt over what I wrote. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't realizing I really didn't say anything. Yeah. I was really saying you got to stop partying right. and you got to focus on what you got to do. That's all I really said. I gave no details. But other cats got in his ear. We hadn't spoken because he departed from the 60s. He was gone for eight months. And then I'm in Atlanta one day and they were like, yo, man, you, you know, I was on my way to Atlanta. Rather, they were like, yo, man, you, you know, you got to stay out of that city. AI then, you know, he, <laughs> That's he, how they he, talk he, to like, me, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he looking for you, yeah. and, and, and if him and, and the crew find you, and I'm like, what? Yeah. So that I said, like I, I, moved, up, to I me. moved up that flight. Yeah. I moved up that flight, and I rolled with Atlanta looking for him, and, and, I, and we found each other. And I, I, I will tell you, that was a total change because when I saw him and I spoke to him, I never felt so bad in my career. Yeah. What happened is he looked me dead in the face. He said, I don't give a shit about the article, man. Is that it was your name. It was you. He said, that's what hurt me. It's exactly, I don't care what anybody says. Somebody True else or false or whatever. Said that he story. said, it, it was cause it was you. And I yeah. said, I feel you, yeah. but what did I say? Read the article. I really didn't say anything, but I understood at that moment in time, how much love he had for me and how that I was capable of hurting him. And I didn't know that. Yeah. And so when it was like that, I just said to myself, you know something? I understand it's a rare, rare moment in this industry, but our relationship is on a different mm -hmm. level. And so he's the kind of person that I can, or rather I'm the kind, for him, I'm one of the few people on the planet that can pull him aside and tell him anything, yeah. and talk to him about anything because of the relationship and the brotherhood that we got. He's like a little brother to me. So because of that, it's like, all right, the hell with all of this journalism stuff or whatever. It's on another level with me and him. And from this day forward, anything that I say is going to be to him. Yeah. Right. I got nothing to say about him right. unless it's to him. Yeah. Right. And so from that point forward, you know, he retired thereafter. We talk at least two, three times a month. He's always calling me. And I'm always calling him, checking up on each but, other. And that's our relationship. Yeah, we love our life. One yeah. more thing before we move on to the sure. next. Mm -hmm. with being what's going on with everything with Skip and Chan and everything, would yeah. you want to work with Skip again now? No, but it has nothing to really do. It has, it has, seriously, it has, it has nothing to do with it. That was a strong note. That was a strong note. No, no. But that has nothing to do with Skip. Okay. Look, yo, fellas. I mean, listen, I, I, not to cut you off, I know it's contracts and everything. So everything is clear out the way contractually. Right. And y'all had the opportunity to work today. No. <laughs> no. no. Would because, you send somebody to work with Skip? Yeah, but I want to hear his reason why not. All right. My life has moved in a different direction. I'm not just the host of First Take. I'm the executive producer. I got my own production mm -hmm. company. I got my own podcast that I own and operate. I'm doing a little acting these days. I got a recurring role on a soap opera, yeah, General Hospital. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not, I never tried. I never took an <laughs> acting lesson in my life. I need to. I need, to go. I need help. Right. But the point is, is that I'm doing a lot of things now, and it's important to me to do that on my own now. When right. I think yeah. about me on First Take, I honestly view myself as somebody that's facilitating success for a whole bunch of people mm -hmm. that I'm bringing on the show. I got mine. Yeah. And so because I got mine and I was able to accomplish and do what I do, it's mm -hmm. I'm, I'm out to do different things. Now, if you notice, I brought that cat, Kenny Beecham, that's got his own spot on YouTube right now yeah. as a basketball guru. I'm looking for young talent that I'm going to bring on and stuff like that. I see people that work for ESPN, mm -hmm. Ryan Clark, Marcus Spears, and others. I'm looking at their success. Well, it grew on first take in part. Yeah. And so for me, knowing the executives, having the relationships that I have, speaking up for cats, you see ladies like Monica McNutt and Kimberly Martin and others and, and Mina Combs and people like that. A Dan Orlovsky even. It's not just the brothers. It's black. It's white. It's male. It's female. Molly's still with me on, on first take. 
I'm looking at myself as a person that's going to do everything that I can to set up opportunities, not just for people who are there with me, but folks want to come up. You, one day, you going to be there. You know, if, if I can have anything to say about it, I'm just looking for opportunities. I'm looking at y'all. I'm looking at everybody. Cam knows, you know, you roll up on me. Yo, man, I need I need your advice. I need your, here it is. No problem. I definitely call it's, for it's, advice. It's all Absolutely. about that. Because if I'm not doing that, then what purpose do I serve? I've been very blessed and fortunate enough to achieve a level of success that most people in my industry haven't achieved. I'm not going to do that and be at the top all by myself. I want to bring as many people with me as I possibly can, as many of us as I possibly can. I ain't apologize for that shit to nobody. Yeah. I certainly want to facilitate success for a lot of people, but especially my brothers and sisters. That's just the way that I roll. And so for me to be able to help cats along the way, I'm good with that because mm -hmm. I got other visions. I've got other dreams and aspirations that I'm after. Cool. That's why I wouldn't work with Skip. Got gotcha. you. Black people black conversations that benefit black people. Think of black people.